Ariel Hawani post fight at UFC 144 alongside the new UFC lightweight champion Benson Henderson and Benson congratulations on the win how does that sound is it surreal or have you been able to grasp that you are now the new UFC lightweight champion um it, it is a little bit surreal I'm sure on a 14 hour flight or however long it is seven hour flight to Australia I'm sure it'll sink in uh, and then on that flight from Australia back to Phoenix I'm sure it'll sink in a little bit more but you know it's uh it's exciting um I'm pretty thrilled, pretty happy. Um, got a lot of emotions going through. I, I tend to talk a lot when I have a lot of emotions, so sometimes you egg me on and get me started, and I get off on freaking tangents and whatnot. So and, I, and I hate when I watch rewatch the interview. I'm like, oh man, I sound like a dang. I just gotta keep my mouth shut. But well, you're the champion now. You can say whatever you want. Eh, something like that. So you're going to a victory tour in Australia now? Yes, victory tour in Australia. And then I guess we're doing another one in uh, Korea. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, and then in between, I gotta get back in the gym. The guys are training. I heard there's some guys out there who uh, who want what I got. Yeah, we'll get to them in a second. What did you think of your performance overall? It was a fantastic performance. All the judges scored it in your favor. But overall, were you happy with your performance? Uh, I wouldn't say happy. Uh, I'm. I'll take it. A w to W. I'll take it. Take it anywhere I can get it. I think there's a lot of things I could have done better. Um, I think my jab landed quite a bit. Uh, I was happy with that. I was happy outboxing a little bit. You know. Um, but I didn't get a finish. I like, you know, I like to finish fights. So it is what it is, though. Were you 100% confident that you had won the fight before they had announced the scorecards? I was, yeah. I, w I was pretty confident that the, the fight was mine, that I had done enough to, to earn the W. Um, but, you know, again, everyone's entitled to their opinions. The more controversy, the better. You know, so all you guys on Monday morning at the water cooler, talk about the UFC, talk about UFC 144 and, and get talking about it and stuff. Um, that's cool. And, and how about his performance? Did he put out what you expected from him? Was he not as tough? Just, just to get your take on what Frankie Edgar did. No, Frankie's very tough. Uh, I, I knew it was going to be a tough fight. I knew it was going to be a, a barn burn. It's exactly what it was. His, uh, his pace, his energy, uh, it was exactly what I thought it was going to be. Thankfully, I have a couple of great training partners uh, in Efren Escudero, Chris Grismacher, Yatsin Meza, Victor Meza. Uh, I got a bunch of guys in my gym who, you know, did their best Frankie Edgar impersonation, and, and they got beat up for like uh, eight weeks trying to, trying to help me out uh, so that we walk away and go back to Arizona with the belt. Your story is an unbelievable one because you were a champion in WC, yet it didn't seem like you ever got the respect that you deserved, and now here you are as UFC lightweight champion. Does a part of you, or did that fuel you at all? Does a part of you say now to those people that doubted you, that didn't say that you were, you know, guys were calling you out in press conferences when you weren't even fighting them, and, you know, now here you are sitting on top of the mountain. That has to feel good, right? It does feel good. You know, I don't really... Again, uh, I might have said it to you once or twice before, but I don't really begrudge anybody their opinions. They can think what they want to think. It's cool. Uh, I really am okay if you don't think I'm that great. That's fine. Um, but it's nice to prove otherwise. Right. Uh, who do you want next? Anthony Pettis looked great. It seems like that's the, the perfect matchup. You have a history with him. You said you want to fight him again. Do you think he's ready for the title shot? Do you think he's done enough, or do you think they'll put you up against someone else? Um, I see you. I see you doing big things. You do, do big things in the, in the way he does things. Man, he's spectacular. He, he does a lot of uh, big moves. Um, but I think there's a, a line. I don't, I don't think he's first in line. Um, I'm going to handle my business. I'm going to you know, defend the belt a couple times. He's going to handle his business. I'm sure he'll get you know, two or three more wins, uh, maybe highlight reel wins, uh, maybe sturdy wins against uh, solid wrestlers who um, he can show that he has to work on his takedown defense or whatever. But he's going to do his thing. I'm going to do my, uh, my thing. I'm sure we will match up one day. Um, I'm sure it will be for my UFC belt. I don't know if it will be next, but it'll, I'm sure it will happen. All right. Thank you so much for the time, and congrats on the big win. Thanks, Ariel.